Hey guys, it's Holly. Today I am very excited because I have a Sophie and Toffee box and this is a Disney themed box. This is the villains box and I am very excited. It's officially licensed by Disney and I have gotten boxes from Sophie and Toffee before that are craft boxes and I really, really like them. But the fact that this is Disney themed is just really, really cool. I will put all of the information down below in the description because there's a lot of information about this box. There is a coupon code you can use, which is Holly3. Every box will have a different theme. This one is villains. And right now, because of licensing, they can't ship directly to the USA, but there is a forwarding service that you can use where basically they will route the box to you so you can get it in the US. But again, I will put all of that information down below in the description, but let's go ahead and get into this because I'm really excited. The box is really, really pretty. I love the artwork and even this is like shiny. Like I am very, very impressed with the level of quality in this box. So let's go ahead and open it. Whoa. It says, meet me on the other side. How cool, I love the artwork. So meet me on the other side. This is packaged so nicely. This is black paper. Here is the little pamphlet. This is really, really nice as well. Oh my gosh, this is so nicely packaged. Wow. So already I see there is a ton of pigments for resin. I should have mentioned that this is a resin box. There are all sorts of findings down here. We have magnets, we have whatever these clips are called. We have like a little clasp on a keychain. We have ball chains, we have jump rings, we have another type of hook, we have some bales. There is so much good stuff in here. This is really nicely packaged all on a card like this. Wow, there's so much stuff in here. Oh my gosh, this is like a specially branded resin. Wow, so it says Queen Crystal LED UV Resin. This is really cool. There's like the skulls all over it. Oh my gosh, it has the instructions. How cool, I wasn't expecting for the actual resin to be themed. Wow, that is so cool. All of them are. Then we have this one, Maleficent. UV resin for silicone molds. Wow. I am very, very impressed with all of the packaging. We have these resin. These are the two-part resin, so it says AB resin. This is Ursula. Really cool, a one-to-one -one ratio. So this is, the, this is the resin that I'm most familiar with. Then we have this, which is shaker oil, and we have Hades on there. I am like smiling so big right now. I just can't get over how cool this is that all the resins are themed. So this is for making a shaker. That's very cool. Oh my gosh. Then we have all of these canes and we have little tentacles for Ursula. There's little poison apples and shells, I think those are, and little crowns from Snow White. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Okay, so we have these. Oh my gosh, we have Cruella, Ursula, Jafar, that's so cool. There's a Jafar one. We have, um, I guess the Evil Queen, I guess is her name from Snow White. Maleficent, very cool, oh my gosh. The Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, so cool, I love all of these. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <gasps> these are cool. Oh my gosh, these are like metal charms. Oh my gosh, and these are all like official Disney. Oh my gosh, look at the poison apple. I am dying. There's a lightning bolt for Hades. Oh my God, wings. The quality of this is so good. Okay, then left in the box are molds and I'm very excited about the molds. So we have this mold, which is so cool. So you can make more little tiny things. I love the little poison bottle and the poison apple. This is a really nice silicone mold okay then we have this one which looks a little bit complicated i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit scared of this one but it looks like you fill it and then put this on and then you put this inside of it and it makes like a vase and then what are these ones um i'm gonna have to figure out what all of these pieces are because there's so many pieces to this i'm gonna look at the little book here in a second and i will i'm sure it has it in there but this is really crazy hopefully i don't get too confused making that 
Oh my gosh, this one is so cool. This mold is crazy. It's really big. <gasps> These are so cool. That one is so awesome. I'm so excited to use these. Like, wow, this is great, great quality. I'm so excited about this. I don't even, y'all, I don't even really like villains that much, to be completely honest. Like, I don't freak out over villains like a lot of people do, but I'm really excited to make these things. Then lastly is this one, which comes in a lot of pieces. So it looks like this is another bottle. And uh, this is what I'm thinking is that this is like the bottle and then this is like the top to the bottle. And like, this is gonna be really cool. I'm guessing it's gonna be like, a. Sh this is the shaker. I have never, I haven't really done resin in a while and I have not seen a shaker that's like a bottle. I've seen, I've made, I've actually, I have a video on my channel where I made a resin shaker and it was a pain in the butt, not gonna lie, but it was flat. So this one's gonna be like 3D. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm very excited. I just realized that on the back of this paper are a bunch of designs that you can use in the resin and I'm really excited about it. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the booklet. So we have the Villains Emblem Mold, the Shaker Bits Mold. Okay, so that's gonna be for the Shaker. We have a Maleficent Potion Mold and then an Evil Queen Potion Mold. So there are little potion bottles, that's so cool. We got the Maleficent Resin, the Evil Queen Resin, the Ursula Two-Part Resin, and the Hades Shaker Oil, the Villains Pigment Glitter and Findings, and then all of the little Shaker Bits, the Bezels, the Charms, and the Resin Film. So this is giving some instructions on how to make the potions. I kind of was hoping there would be like pictures, but I'm assuming we can figure it out based off of this. So last time I used UV resin, I had a really bad um, chemical reaction to it. So I'm just gonna be really super extra careful because I really wanna do it. So maybe this is a bad idea, but <laughs> I wanna make some cool stuff. And, and if all else fails, I'll just use regular resin and hope for the best because I don't have a reaction to regular resin. I am very, very excited. Okay, so these are my finished pieces. I didn't film me doing them because A, I was really scared that I was gonna accidentally touch it and then break out again. So I was trying to be really extra super careful. And also these are kind of tedious and I just thought it would be easier if I just made the pieces and show you instead of going through the whole process. But I'm really happy with how these came out. So the first one I made was this one. And I love this. I mean, of course it's not absolutely perfect, but I think it's really, really cool. And please excuse my nails. But I think that this came out really cool. The mold is really nice. Please ignore the sides. And then the back is kind of eh. Um, I put one of the little clips that came with the box on the back. Um, but the mold that this was is very like thick. And for UV resin, I was just struggling a lot with how thin the layers have to be. I'm used to working with regular resin where the thickness doesn't really matter. So it was just really tedious working with the UV resin. Um, I had to redo this one because somehow the poison apple got messed up and the color behind it leaked into it. But I'm really happy with how this one came out. I think it looks really cool. And then of course there is the little bezel one. I decided to do Jafar because I love Jafar. I don't know which side I think is better. I do like this side because it's flat. Um, I did use a piece of tape to kind of make a back and then put the colors on it. But I think it came out pretty cool. I like it a lot. I really like Jafar. And then I put the little finding on it from the box. And then lastly is the potion bottle. Now this one was very difficult. Um, I started using UV resin and then realized that that was a really bad idea because the way that they say to do it is to fill up the mold and then push the little stick in there. And UV resin doesn't work that well with that because UV resin again has to have really thin layers. So I used the two part resin that came in the box and then you put in the little stick and there there's a little tiny channel in there, but it's not super hollow. And there was, I did put the shaker oil in there and it did work for a little bit, but there must be a hole in this cause I think all the oil came out. <laughs> I was trying to sand down the bottom to make it flat so it would stand up and maybe I sa shaved it down too much. I don't know, it's just very, very nitpicky. Making shaker bottles is not my forte and I think it's very nitpicky and frustrating. But overall, I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. I did see a tutorial where someone basically, instead of putting the two halves of the mold together and filling it, they basically poured some UV resin in there and kind of moved it around and then 
and then made the two halves and stuck them together so it's more hollow than this because yeah I hope that makes sense but anyways I'm pretty happy with how it came out it looks pretty cool I think it's much cooler just as a resin piece and not as a shaker bottle but if you can get it to work power to you because you can see the glitter in there it's just that one little sliver in there that's hollow that's it so this whole half of it's solid. Those are my pieces. I think they're really cool though. I really like this box. I like that it's Disney. That's so cool. Again, I will put all of the information about this box down below in the description. There is a coupon code, which is Holly3. But again, all of that information is down below in the description. And I have links down there. Make sure you check it out. A big thank you to Sophie and Toffee for sending me this box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.